Hello guys, my name is Emma, and I'm here to tell you the story of our. So guys, I will be mentioning the name of the story on the main page. So make sure you guys enjoy this. Stay tuned. But I love to see your comments in the side. Story starts in a banquet hall where we can see people enjoying themselves over drinks. Then shifts to our main protagonist, who is seen in the balcony enjoying some drinks with a man. The side cheers and politely continue their conversation. The girl calls that person Mr. Yu Zi and thanks him for the hospitality that he has shown her. The girl seems happy and says that finally there is someone who acknowledges her acting skills, because the main protagonist has been acting as. The story tells us about Mr. Yizi, who is a main actor and a director. The girl thinks that she has only been playing insignificant roles, but then she suddenly feels a bit nauseous. She thinks of going to the restroom, but then she suddenly faints. And then we can see that a man is carrying her in her arms, and then. And then the story shifts to a room where we can see a female protagonist lying on a bed. The person who is in front of her seems to be a madman, and is trying to hurt her in every possible way. He feeds her a pill and tells her to chew it. After that, we can see that the girl starts to remember that the person who did this all is Yu Zi. Then the story continues until he does what he wants with the girl. The girl cries and says, "Let go of me!" And then even backs that person. But he just laughs. We see that Weezy continues to laugh at the girl, but does not stop. The girl even starts to beg him to let go of him, her, but he does not listen. And then we can see her hand, emphasizing that something bad has happened to her. After that, you can see that the girl is laying on the ground, emphasizing that something bad has happened to her. The story then shifts to the memories of the female protagonist, where she is standing on the tomb of his father, and is quite sad. And then to that of her mother, who has died from a serious illness after the death of his father, she then realizes that her life has always been filled. With misery and sorrow, and now she is finally facing this, which should not have been happened with her. And then we can see that female protagonist is quite surprised to see someone in front of her. When she begins to realize, she sees a fairy in front of her. The fairy introduces herself as a fairy of their family. And it's quite sad to see the last person dying so miserably. When the girl realizes that she has died, I died. She suddenly gets. The girl realizes that she has died. But then, she says that she wants revenge, and if the fairy wants to help her, she should help her in getting the revenge. The fairy says yes, and says that her life will continue until the petal on her neck falls. And after that, boom! A sparkling thing happens, and the girl shifts to another place. The story then continues from a small barn where we can see the body of a girl. The girl then remembers what had happened, and how she fell in here. She thinks that the murderer Yu Zi put her here. Then she starts running toward the pond, trips, and falls. After that, she says that her life has always been unfortunate, going through hardships, and now, oh no, her face. She then realizes that her face has been swapped. She says, "This is not my face. Why did my face change? And this body, this not, this isn't her as well." And then we can see her boyfriend Xia Ren, who calls her name. And then she realizes that she is in the body of a female protagonist, named as Jia Ren. After seeing her all wet, he puts on a jacket, and so guys, our story ends here.
make sure to like and subscribe so I can make a part 2 for you as soon as possible. Thank you.